What is up, Kryptonites? Back for a new video, and today um, we're just gonna go over everything to know about Blackout. I cannot wait for this game. I'm super hyped. A lot of things on this list are just making me want to play this right now. I want it in my hands. Give it to me. Um, we're gonna start off with the player count, which is 80 players, but can increase or decrease depending on how the beta goes. So. What do you guys think about 80 players? I think I, that's well over enough for me. We thought way lower. We thought it was going to be at least 60. Um, but we got 80 players. Finally got the, the full blackout map um, connected. If you guys didn't know, a bunch of YouTubers have been getting like segments of the blackout map. And they finally got every single piece to form the, you know, the final product, which is the, you know, the blackout um, battle royale map. I'm gonna show you guys up on the screen and yeah as you can see the names these are not all the names that's what they clarify on one article these are not all of them but we have estates construction site hydro dam train station asylum firing range array river town fracting tower cargo docks nuketown island factory and turbine so we have pretty much 13 name locations for now um i'm pretty sure there's more name locations but it's just not listed right now but that is pretty much the full blackout map uh helicopter is what you're going to be entering the blackout map and then you're just going to be flying down with a wingsuit and a parachute so um that's um the way that you're going to be entering you know the blackout map okay so there's a lot of like questions that have been answered if you guys didn't um know that there is an interview on game informers website they even um put it on youtube just recently um but they they basically asked von de Haar, like 195 rapid fire questions of like mostly of what a lot of people are wondering about the you know the blackout mode and he you know tried his best to answer honestly and truthfully um and what he can answer because you know how pr is um and you can't like you know answer everything so you can watch that if you want in the description so you guys can go watch the full interview in its entirety so i guess we can show you some um of the images right here the first image is turbine as you can see um it's not showing the whole map yeah, but you know, we see some ATVs there and then we got a helicopter getting shot down or someone getting shot out of the helicopter as it's coming Objective at um, these characters right here. Seraph right there and then like, I don't even know who that is. It looks like Nikolai, but I might be wrong. I don't think it's Nikolai because I think that's a different franchise. I don't know. But anyway, the second image is Rivertown, but I have no idea what Rivertown has a reference to. Um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Um, and then obviously another shot of turbine with nothing on it. Uh, no fighting or anything, it's just straight turbine. I'm guessing there's more to this instead of just a desert and a bunch of turbines. Um, so hopefully we can see a little bit more once we jump into the map, explore a little bit. And then the next one, this one is Asylum. If you guys didn't know, um, Asylum is a zombies map. And that's pretty much what it is. It's a asylum and I'm guessing that's where the zombies are gonna be You can see like a helicopter shooting down at this maze Apparently this maze is a reference to buried. Um, if you guys play that map, you will You know understand why this is in here and then another helicopter shooting at this helicopter So it looks pretty action-packed, but we got another shot of turbine right here um, don't know who that is, don't know who this is. I know this is uh, one of the newer characters, so maybe that's why. And then this one is not on the map yet, um, or at least named location, like an island, kind of like um, in San Francisco, how they have uh, that prison. Um, but this is just a lighthouse that you can go into and stuff, which is cool. So I can't wait to uh, explore that location. I'm pretty sure you can swim all the way over there, but it'd probably be faster if you just use a boat, so. I, I suggest using a boat, but it looks really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this hectic. So the, this next shot is a farm. As you can see, we got the water tower, some barns, silos, a house back here. Um, they're just raining down like bullets, and there's a helicopter in the sky. It looks pretty cool, kind of 
uh, their take on Fatal Fields from Fortnite. Okay, here's a, a first-person view of cargo back there, which is cool. And then we just see like a supply drop. So supply drops confirmed. Obviously his teammates right there. Um, we got just a bunch of trees. But I, I guess like the main focus is obviously cargo back there. So um, that's really cool. More uh, scenery of the farm that we were just looking at in a previous one so that's pretty much all the the images that you can see for blackout so let me know what you guys think of the the images that i showed you um i think they look really interesting action-packed obviously that's um you know on purpose because they want to make the game look a lot of fun and it, it does look a lot of fun so i cannot wait to you know give it a shot so the vehicles is going to be four vehicles one cargo truck holds one driver, four passengers. Um, ATV, one driver, one passenger. Zodiac, inflatable boat, one pilot, one passenger. And then the little bird helicopter, one pilot, four passengers. Not sure why some of these vehicles have room for five people total. We might have uh, teams of five, possibly. I don't know. I guess we can talk about how zombies work. So how zombies work is that obviously they're AI controlled. They're going to be in certain locations um, like Asylum, for example. Um, if you kill them, you can get some special stash like loot. And I'm guessing by the way Vondahar said, look for the ray of light in one of the uh, questions in the interview. I'm guessing possibly like a mystery box of some sort. But I might be wrong, but that's pretty much how zombies work. So the question is, how many characters can we play with? And Vonahar said 22 characters advantage. about. He said the way you can unlock them is via challenges. So there's no like microtransactions. I'm pretty sure there's going to be microtransactions um, for other things. But for these characters, all you have to do is complete challenges and then you can um obtain these like specialists you pick up like war machine get a few kills with that on a top 15 or something like that um that's not necessarily how the challenges are going to work but that's kind of like an example of how you can uh, obtain like battery as a specialist character blackout so that's pretty much how it works 20 characters he said he's not holding any back from full release so we're going to be seeing all 22 or whatever characters in the beta um, even at full launch so um, and also they're going to be adding a lot more um, during its life cycles all right so we can talk about how many weapons how many equipment how many perks are going to be in this game mode as it currently stands blackout has three tiers of health and armor eight primary ammunition types 12 equipment items 17 consumable perks 17 weapon attachments 24 different weapons and 125 items yeah we're gonna be talking about perks um after this but that's a lot and i cannot wait to try them all out like i can't wait to see what weapons they put in the game i can't wait to see like um, i'm pretty sure the way the armor works is kind of like in heist where you can like have like different tiers of armor there's like light armor medium armor and then like heavy armor i'm guessing health is like med kits and like bandages and stuff like that so different types of weapons so that's cool now that's like in every battle royale kind of like PUBG. so just to clarify it's all first person there's going to be no third person in this game mode. just wanted to clarify that is what vonahar said in the interview so here are the perks and how they pretty much work um the first perk is paranoia gives an audio alert when you're targeted by an enemy skulker move faster while crouched and prone a stimulant Increases max health by 100 points. Outlander reduced damage from circle. Increased speed while taking damage from circle. Not sure how I feel about that perk. Looter, reveal nearby stashes and items. Okay, that's a good one. Iron lungs, hold your breath longer while shooting sniper rifles or diving underwater. Sensor Consumer reduces times it takes to use items, heal, or revive teammates by 20%. And all these perks will only last a uh, a set duration so it's not gonna last forever so use them wisely use them at the the right times so let me know what you guys think about these perks i'm not a big fan of outlander but we don't know what the circle really is they said nova gas if that is the case outlander doesn't seem as um effective 
but you know you never know i guess we just gotta find out until the, the game comes out okay so now there's a new article that just popped up and i might as well just cover this while i'm covering everything else so basically what this is talking about is nuketown's counter um how many people are on that island and it just gives you a, a good indication of how many people you have to deal with when you are on that location which is cool all right guys that is pretty much everything you need to know about blackout like even the newer articles that just got released um this is by far the most detailed video i've ever created so hope you guys appreciate that all the links are in the description below follow all my social media sites if you want to be updated with everything i upload or just in general yeah so hope you guys enjoy this video definitely subscribe for more like this and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm magic goons deuces up Can't keep me down. Lost my thoughts, feel like I could.